foodgame.com. From potential defense, defense, and more defense of the SEC, Bama LSU, to a lot of offense in Manhattan, Kansas, in all likelihood when Oklahoma State battles the K-State Wildcats, who are right in the thick of things when it comes to the national title picture. Brian, last year these two hooked up. We had Brandon Whedon at quarterback. They combined for 97 points. Oklahoma State scored 52 of those. I keep hearing everybody talking about Oklahoma State's rebuilding offense, yet they lead the nation with 586 total yards per game on average. They did lose J.W. Walsh, who was a little bit more of a dual threat, can escape pressure. He's out with an injury, but Wes Lunt comes back, and he's done all right so far. With Wes Lunt at quarterback, the four games he's played in, they're averaging just a shade under 56 points per game. I'm a little bit concerned, because if you take a look at Kansas State, the teams that have had success against them are teams that run the ball up the middle. Iowa State, Iowa State, a great running team, uh, real physical in the trenches. The teams that spread it all out Kansas State's really played really well defensively against those type of teams. So that, that's my concern here. Um, you, you know, I don't think we're going to see the total like we did last year, but I think the line the line's a little bit adjusted. But, yeah, both, both offenses have the ability. It's all a matchup at this point. No one's slowing down Colin Klein, Marco. Obviously, he's leading the way right now as far as the odds are concerned to win the Heisman Trophy. Uh, but this might be the best run-pass offense I think Kansas State's going to have faced this season. West Virginia was exposed as a fraud. Uh, Texas Tech had 445, 450 yards on K-State last week. They just turned it over too much after a close first half. But Brian had mentioned, made a good point, got to be able to run the football between the tackles if you're going to move the ball consistently on Kansas State may, and maybe beat them. But you got Joseph Randall. He's a pretty good running back. He's averaging a C-note a game as far as rushing yardage is concerned, top at 100 yards per contest. And I think that keeps K-State honest, and they could be less aggressive when Randall's running the football. What do you think about this one? Uh, you guys hit the nail on the head with Kansas State you know, with teams that can run against them. But the one thing about Kansas State is their offense, you look and they score a lot of points, but you look at them, they do it methodically, right. but they do it very efficiently. Yep. They run the ball at you, run the ball at you, and then you bring your defense up to try to stop them, and all of a sudden they hit you with a pass downfield. And, you know, it gets frustrating to an offense that's a high-powered offense that wants to get out there, and I think that's one of the things about the spread teams. They're go, go, go. And when you're sitting on the sidelines for long periods of time and then you get back out there, you try to do too much too quick, and I think that's one of the the keys why Kansas State this is a mind-boggling stat 19 takeaways this year to only four themselves they just two years in a row it's not just this year so at some point you think okay last year that was a fluke because you would look and say oh look at the stats again they were plus three in the turnovers you know no wonder they won but they keep doing it so at some point it's it's not a fluke they're doing something defensively with their schemes, the way they tackle, the way they strip, whatever. And I think this all goes to Bill Snyder. This guy, if he's not coach of the year, I mean, to me, there's only two candidates for coach of the year. It's Bill Snyder and the job that was being done at Penn State. Now, we'll see how they finish out the season there with Bill O'Brien. But these are the two best coaches that I've seen coaching jobs this year. Well, this one's my free pick. We'll get to it. Kansas State, Oklahoma State. And Marco's right. It is Bill Snyder. 15 years ago, Tom Osborne says there's one guy he knows for sure was born and was put on this earth to coach football, and that's Bill Snyder. I happen to agree with him. We've seen him rebuild this program and bring him from the, bring him from the, the bottom to a perennial top 10 and potential national championship contender not once but twice in Manhattan, Kansas. Here's the thing about this game, though. I do believe that Oklahoma State's going to be able to run the football. Kansas State doesn't give up a lot of rushing yardage, but they're not a good pass defense. They're 73 third in the nation. Both of these defenses, in fact, given up some 270 yards through the air per game. So I think you're going to see Joseph Randall run the football effectively at times, and I think it's going to open things up for West Lunt to be able to throw the ball also. Not saying that Kansas State's going to lose this game. Not saying there's going to be 97 points for the second straight year, but I think it goes over that total, which has inched up a little bit the day that we shoot these videos on Wednesday from 66 to 66 and a half. Weather permitting, and check that weather before you jump in in Manhattan, Kansas this time of year. My free pick, the over between Oklahoma State and Kansas State. And when we come back here at pregame.tv, we're going to switch over to the boys who play for pay. We've got Baltimore taking on Cleveland right here at pregame.tv.